Okay, so I just want to start off with saying I'm sorry that I haven't posted anything at all. I've just been in pain for like the past, well, I just haven't been feeling good, obviously. And <laughs> I just didn't really feel like talking in front of a camera, you know, so. Um, today is July 1st and it's been 21 days since my surgery and I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, um, my chin's been, um, it's like still numb and it's still tingly and everything like that. So everything over here and all that, it's like normal and I took off my splint yesterday, or I didn't, but my surgeon took off my splint yesterday and then he gave me rubber bands to wear and just like that. And he told me to practice biting down and I guess, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my new bite. And I hope my teeth don't look gross because I haven't been able to brush them every day like I want to obviously because of uh, the pain and everything but I try to brush my teeth as much as I can and I'm I'm getting back to my regular routine as of yesterday but I like the back I really can't brush too much cuz I guess like the back is still numb and it still kind of hurts so I just try to like kind of slowly do it if I can and cuz I still have pain there so but I still brush my front and everything like that. And when they took off, when you took off my splint yesterday, it felt so weird. I was like, that's the, my mouth? I was, I was just so shocked because I just haven't felt the top of my, like, the back of my front, the top of my, ugh. I haven't felt the back of my teeth for like three weeks. And so it felt really weird. And my butt right now, I'm still getting obviously I'm getting used to it since I'm actually biting down on my teeth and not some little the splint and I feel it's weird like my my teeth kind of hurt still probably because like just regular braces and then just getting used to it and rubber bands are a pain and it's just rubber band it's just one it's all in there it's just that little triangle one rubber band and it's really annoying <laughs> but it's not that bad i'm used to it um so i don't really remember what i said in my last video but my first week was painful because i could not eat i was in that liquid diet it was horrible um i had stomach pains that were just killing me i wanted to throw up but I didn't have anything to throw up so it was just really gross I just threw up like my Gatorade and my medicine actually like oh I'm gonna give me like ibuprofen or something like that liquid ibuprofen I threw that one up that's what I threw up I didn't throw up my other medicine like my antibiotics and everything and my stomach was really hurting because like my antibiotics was it like I think that was the reason I wasn't really hungry and um so I didn't really like to like just the thought of like eating soup or eating just any liquid form of food was just disgusting. So all I wanted was my Gatorade and I'd just be like right next to my bucket and I was like dad can you buy me Gatorade because we ran out. And so he bought me that and I was like you're the best time in the world. But like I cannot survive without my Gatorade. And so I have that. Uh, yeah. I took some like drinks that would like like not nutrition drinks I guess I took some nutrition drinks and I mean that really helped a lot because I just needed to get something in my system and I would just drink some like breakfast shakes and I normally take like I normally have like a banana chocolate chocolate banana smoothie in the morning with like protein and chai tea and everything like chai tea chai seeds Chia. With chia seeds. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, so on the 6th, my doctor told me just to be on, like, mashed potato, like, a soft food diet and just mashed potatoes and all that stuff. 
and so um so that's it chewing chewing still hurt like I didn't like to bite through things you know and I wouldn't really actually I didn't I, I don't I don't I didn't really chew anyways I'll just like put stuff in my mouth and just like salivate it and like and then swallow it so my orthodontist what about this or whatever he wanted to see me two weeks after my surgery so I saw him on the 23rd and I mean it was just really quick I just opened it. okay so by the second week of recovery um my jaw still hurt Ow, that actually hurt <laughs> my jaw still hurt and I was still wearing my ice packs and I had to wear rubber bands like from here to here and one from here to here and of course I had some rubber bands over here I think just like one and then those just like broke on their own and I would put more but like I, it hurt to like put my finger back there and everything like that like so I just didn't try and uh I still couldn't brush my teeth it still it still hurts to do that I try to brush just like the front and everything yeah. like that it's so weird yeah. like my mouth still like sometimes goes to my underbite that I originally had and it's just so weird I don't know like I just can't believe that I actually have my that bite back you know like my new bite I don't know if my profile is different because I mean I'm not as swollen as I was but it's still a little, you know, and I'm already chubby anyway, so it's still a little, has gone all the way down. But, yeah, I don't know if you can tell. That's my profile. I don't know if that's good, if you can see that, but that's my bite now. I don't know if I showed you my bite originally. I now have pictures and stuff. Eww. That's my original. No, it wasn't that much. It's not that much. Ugh, it feels so weird now to do my old bite or something like that, you know? Anything close to my old bite. I think the worst thing, like, besides the pain of, like, pretty much starvation, the worst pain has been yawning. And, I mean, because it's summer, my sleep schedule has been really whack because I've been, like, well, I slept a lot when I was... Um, the first few recovery days and then I'd like talk to my sister and my cousin whenever at night and then like we'd be up like talking until like 2 a.m. and stuff like that so my sister would be off and then <laughs> I watched a lot of Netflix and so I took up a lot of my time now that's probably also why I kept procrastinating filming because oh sorry about the cooking Oof, it's a habit but um that's probably why I've always procrastinated is because I'd be like, oh, after this one episode of Pretty Little Liars, I'd watch it. After this episode of American Horror Stories, I'd watch it. So I finished those and I saw, I mean, I already saw the first two seasons of Pretty Little Liars and then I finished the last two seasons. And so, yeah, so Netflix has been, was my life when I was covering and I actually felt pretty good to actually like go out and talk to people on the 25th. I actually, <laughs> at like 15 days later, <laughs> I actually felt good enough to go out and everything like that. And uh, I still have my splint on. So people will be like, what? what's that in your mouth? And they're like, oh yeah, you had jaw surgery and everything like that. So it'd be weird, but I'm really sorry that I haven't been making videos. I feel really bad. But then I physically felt bad anyways, too. So I'm sorry. I'm not really used to making YouTube videos anyways, so. I mean, yeah. I'm, not, I'm really not good at telling stories. Not really stories, just telling information in general. So, sorry that I'm saying, like, um, yeah, and then, like, randomly pausing. So, I'm really sorry about that. 
that's it but thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions um just ask me like on i don't know just on twitter or instagram or just definitely leave a comment below and i'll try to see it so but thanks for watching bye